well, it's seven o'clock. And tonight, I'm going to be teaching you all how to use uh, plastic and recycle it and make cute little projects out of uh, like your, oh, you know, your plastic bottles, like your, what do they call it? Mountain Dew, like your Mountain Dew bottles. Anyway, um, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be recycling our plastic green bottles. Uh, you need green. You can probably use clear color. But if you use clear color, then you could either paint it after we've done what we have to do, or um, you can maybe color it with marker if you're using clear color, clear um, bottles. Anyway, so to get started, uh, since people are now joining me, a few more, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making these uh, little teeny succulents out of plastic bottles, right? So um, what you're gonna need is, you're going to need, um, you're gonna need plastic bottle for one. Try to get it in green because green's the best one to do. So plastic bottle, you're gonna need a piece of cardboard, you're gonna need twine or yarn, whichever one you have. Uh, you're gonna need a bottle cap from that plastic bottle. You could, if you had two, that'd be great. Two of everything, because then we could do two of them. But I'm going to show you how to do two. And then if you want to do another one later, you can. Anyway, oh, you're going to need a lighter and a candle. I mean, you could probably use a lighter, but, you know, that hurts unless you have one of those long, extendy, clicky lighters. That would work. Or if you had, like, one of those little jewelry torches, you just could keep it down low. Uh, and But I'm going to be using a candle for this. And a marker or color pencil or something. You're gonna need scissors. There's a lot for this project. Hot glue, you're gonna need some hot glue. You're gonna need tools to hold your um, plastic so you don't burn yourself. And uh, I also have tweezers just in case my other tools don't work. And a pencil. That's what you're gonna need. And for those of you just joining us, we're gonna be do we're gonna be recycling our plastic or upcycling upcycling our plastic bottles into teeny tiny succulents. So that's what we're making today. All right, so let's get started. So number one, first thing to do is you're gonna take your plastic bottle and you are going to cut a strip. So about maybe that long. See that? Oh, it's kind of so hard to show. My light is like. Can you see that? About that far. Maybe about, I'd say maybe an inch and a half wide. All right, and then you're just going to cut that around. If you have this big of a bottle, you don't need the whole circumference of the bottle. Uh, if you have a drinking bottle, like a plastic, green plastic soda bottle that's smaller, then you could probably almost use the whole thing. Almost. Okay, and then set that aside once you have that cut. And then the next step. Now, for those of you, I already had mine cut because I had to make my samples. So, um, for all of you that are getting started, you're probably going to have to have something to poke a hole in the plastic bottle. And then you can start cutting if you have the strength, you know, just poke it with the scissors, but I don't know. Um, if there are kids doing this, please have your grown-ups do most of this for you because it is more of a grown-up project. I don't want anybody to be unsafe. All right, so the next thing is once you have the strip cut, okay, then the next thing to do is um, we're doing this one first. So the next thing you want to do for that one is you're going to cut these, um, maybe, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to cut a uh, V in it, all right? And you want to go down pretty far on it. So you want to cut it about right there. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to zoom this camera up so you all can see my actual table, all right? Is it working? See that okay? Yes. Okay. All right. Now that we have that zoomed up. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, like I said, you're going to cut um, into your bottle and uh, your strip, and you're going to cut it out like that. See that? 
You want to go down pretty far on it. You want to cut it all the way off, but go down pretty far. And then you're going to do that across the whole thing. So cut across the whole thing. And for those of you who are that have just joined, I am teaching you all how to make these little plastic succulents out of um, soda bottles. Okay, so just keep cutting all the way over. You want to, you want the uh, the things that you're cutting to be extra long, extra long. Okay, that's what helps it give it that little um, squiggly look. Kind of looks, you know what it kind of looks like? They kind of, ooh, that would be a good project to do. Oh, I should have done that one too. Um, we could do like, nope, I'm not gonna tell you. That's gonna be another project. I just got an idea. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's just cut, let's just cut this. And in a few weeks, we'll be doing this one, this next one that I just thought of. So I don't want to tell you. It'll be a surprise. Um, okay, so the next thing is just, just keep cutting when you get all the way to the end and you have all these little squiggles cut. I'll show you what we're going to do next. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, but you got to be safe, all right? Okay, there's this. All right. I think I probably have enough, so I'm going to cut some of this off. I don't need a whole lot. Okay. Now the next step is to take your lighter, if you have a candle, and light your candle. Be very careful not to burn yourself. Most of you are probably adults, so you know that. Not to burn. Okay. I'm gonna light this one because it's because it's bigger. All right, and it's lit. Next step. Oh, this is the fun part. Okay, next step is you're going to hold this um, with with your pliers or your um, tweezers if you have tweezers. Which these pliers for some reason don't work. I'm going to use these tweezers instead. Um, that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, so you're going to hold your piece over the fire. All right. Can everybody see this? Can you? Is it good? Okay, I'm sorry, I had to get the comments out of my face. Um, okay. So you're gonna hold, oh, here we go, okay, okay. Okay, sorry, I had to get my screen up so I could see everybody talking. Okay, so you're with your pliers, you're gonna hold this, all right? And then very slowly, you're gonna hold it over the fire and watch how the little, I hope you can see this, watch how the little things Kind of start to shrivel up a little bit. See that? When they start to shrivel like that, you want to hurry up and take your pliers or your tweezers or whatever you have and bend them, okay? You're manipulating how your little leaves are going to look with the heat. So just kind of keep working with it. If it bends too much and curls too much, that means that you've heated it up too much. You don't want it to curl so much that you can't um, see that they're leaves, right? So when it starts to curl like that, just kind of work with it work with it and look at this see how it starts to kind of bend and get the shape that you want kind of make it look like a little plant so then I'm gonna go back to this first one because I don't like the way that one looked and you're gonna just hold that up over the heat you don't want to put it right on the heat because you you know you don't want like that burning plastic smell that's not good but you know just put it up there and if if it starts to if it melts too much and you can't move it, just reheat it, okay? And maneuver it. There we go. It's working now. Okay, and then once you get the end done, then just move on. Move on a little bit. You want it kind of shrivelly. Kind of hold it toward it shrivels a little. You can, you'll be able to really tell when it starts to melt. And what happens when this melts, it gets like, um, like harder. It does. It's not as thin. Uh, it gets like thicker when it when it melts. And that's what gives it that planty like experience. Okay. They're kind of hard to work with. You just kind of maneuver it. Okay. I hope everybody can see how I'm doing this. This I got it. I think I should have it pretty close up. It starts to bend like that. You want to twist. Now you can twist them. If you need to twist it. Anything to make it look planty. I know that's not a word, but, right? 
for some reason, when I do this, it's kind of satisfying to watch the little, it's like little hands. Like the little hands want to move. It's so cute. Is that weird? I get such pleasure out of art. <laughs> Doesn't take much to make me laugh, that's for sure. All right, so that's what I got so far. See how it's really working? Okay. Be careful when you're moving your hands that you're not burning yourself on the, over this fire. Okay, I don't like the way that one's doing. I'm going to fix it. Sometimes they just bend too much. Okay. And on to the end. Now you can also take it and uh, move it. You can flip it over. Flip, flip your plastic over so that it can turn a different way too if you want. Let's kind of maneuver it. See that? See how that just kind of shriveled up there? Twist it. Do whatever you can to, to get it to look plant-like. All right, and this, I don't like this. I want this to be more shriveled right here, so I'm going to put that under the heat a little bit more. Just shrivel that up just a little. All right. Okay, now that that is done, be careful when you, that when you touch this, it's not hot, all right? I, got, I think I got wax on it. Not good. Okay. Next step is you're going to start to twist it, okay? Now, I hope this works. I did the other one yesterday and it worked, but I'm using different tools today, so I'm hoping, hoping this works. So you kind of want to get it to where it's uh, folded over if you can a little bit, because the whole goal is to get this to smush up like that one. See that? And this is the tricky part. So you want to melt that to where that part is kind of smushy. Kind of fold it over and just work with it till it gets smushy, right? And then take your tools and try to maneuver it in there. It's not easy. It's kind of difficult, but you can do it. Just takes a little bit of time and probably a little more practice than what I have done because I've only done it, well, this is the third time that I've done this. So just work with it. Twist it on itself like this. See how I'm twisting it? It probably helps to have two tools. The first one I did, I didn't have any. I only had the tweezers that I used, and it worked just fine. Okay, it's starting to come together now. See how it's starting to come together? You just got to keep twisting it. Get hot again. Oh, yeah, see how that did? It, that just worked itself right in there. Okay. Oh, see one of my one of my pieces fell off. Got too hot. It's okay because I'll pick it up off the floor and I'll fix it. However, this could be a little teeny tiny one like uh, monkey grass. You know what monkey grass is? Monkey grass is cute. Little pieces of grass. All right. There we go. And just smash it on there. Wonder how many. Oh no! Get out of the plastic! The wax. All right. Now I need a rag so I can wipe this off. You know, something, sometimes things happen. It's okay. Glad I have that plate sitting there. Okay, now I got this one done, and I gotta find my other little piece that fell. I'm not sure where that went. Let's 
No. Wow, that, it just disappeared. Anyway, okay, well we have this one, and that's kind of cute. Okay, so the next step is um, we're gonna take our bottle cap, push your, keep your, keep your fire there because we're gonna use that again. And you're gonna take a piece of your cardboard, all right? And you trace your bottle cap. Okay, trace the bottle cap and cut that out. Now, you wanna cut right on the inside of the line and not on the outside because you want it to fit inside that bottle cap just perfect, right? Watch your fire. Okay. And then you're gonna take the hot glue that hopefully you have plugged in and you're gonna put a ring of hot glue on the top of this. So you're gonna put right around here. Just like that, on there. And then you're gonna set this right inside that. Kind of push it down just to where it's even, maybe a little in there to make it look like a little pot. And that's what that looks like, okay? Oh, that does look cute. Okay, it's not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, it recovered, I recovered it. Okay, and then the next step is you're gonna take your marker, okay? And you're gonna put dots all over this, make this look like dirt, okay? Dot it up, make the dirt. You could color the whole thing if you wanted to, but I like the dots. Okay, and then once you get that done, you're gonna hot glue this little sucker in there, okay? So just put a dot of hot glue in there, nice amount. Now, I don't know if mine is gonna stay because I did drop it in the wax, so I'm not sure if it is actually gonna stay or if it's gonna fall out, but we're gonna find out here in a second. So just kinda hold it there. When you put a big glob of glue uh, it takes a while for that to dry, all right? So the best bet is to kind of put it in some air or blow on it, and it will dry pretty quickly. But don't add any more hot glue to it because a lot of people think that if they add more hot glue, then it'll stand up better, and that's not the case. The reason it's not standing up is because the glue is not dry yet, and that's the reason why it's not standing, not because you don't have enough glue. And I get a lot of people that think that's why it's not standing is because they don't have enough glue on it, which is not true. Okay, so that's this one. Oh, that turned out really cute, even though it broke on me. Okay, so there's that one. And then we're going to move on to this one. And this one was a lot of fun as well. Okay, so for this one, you're going to need another piece of your plastic bottle. And so, hopefully you have enough. Got another strip. All right. For this one, you're gonna cut it like in a leaf shape. So, follow it around. It could be as big as you want. It's up to you how big you want it. That's what I did there. Okay. Do a couple of those, two or three, depending on how much you want to work at it. Lots of fun though, right? Okay, and then you're going to take, you're going to take this and you're, okay, where's my, okay, there we go. I was going to say, where's, the, where's my light at? All right, then you're going to take and you're going to do um, kind of like you did with this one, except, um, Okay, so you're going to cut like little triangles out. See that? So that's how you're going to do that. And then you're going to go a little ways, kind of like a palm leaf, if you've ever kind of looked at little palm trees, leaves, like that. And just do that all the way down it. And then when you get to the other side, you want to alternate it, okay? So... So don't do it right even with this one. You want to do it down a little further, right? So I'm going to go there. 
in between like every other. Okay. This one was already cut, so I'll fix that. Okay, so here's my one that I have. Okay, then I'm going to work on the other one. Where's everybody from uh, tonight that's on here? Any faraway places from St. Louis? Wonder what the furthest away is that's watching right now. Okay. All right, now I have those two cut. Next step is to uh, do the same thing. We're going to heat it up and start to work with it. Starting from the top. Oh, wait, can you see that? I need to pull that back a little bit, don't I? Pay attention to what I'm doing here. Okay. I think it's better if I hold it further up, closer to the top, because the stuff is like bending and I can't fix it when that happens. This is not easy. Okay. Do over, get this hot again. Get it hot again, you can kind of work with it. I had better tools and I don't know what happened to them. It's probably packed away somewhere. Okay, there we go. Work with that there. Bring this one out. Okay, there we go. I'm getting it now. Better, better. And just maneuver it the way you want it. Kind of do it, kind of get it warm in the middle too because that kind of helps it to maneuver in the middle. All right, and then I'm going to do it to the other one. This one's cute. This one's turned out cute already. All right. There's one. And then working on this one. You could probably do all different shapes for little, uh, little plant-like succulent type things. What I want to do is I want to get take the rest of this bottle, and I think I'm actually going to do that, um, take the rest of the bottle and make a big one to see how that would look. And I think that would be really cute. Ooh, that would be really cute out in the garden. All right. Maybe this one up. Twist it if you need to. Oh, yeah. There we go. That one did great. Look how that one uh, just kind of curled up on itself at the end. Perfect. That's a perfect way to get to put that in there. I'm going to try that with this one now. Oh, yeah. That's great. Okay. Now that we have that done, next step is to uh, do the same thing with our cap. So I have this cap, this big one, so I'm going to have to do a big one here. So trace your cap and cut it out. I'm going to blow this out because I'm done with this and I don't want to burn myself. Okay. And then cut your circle. And then we're still not done once we get this and once we color. We still have 
one more step. All right. Uh, now remember, we're gonna have to put hot glue around the inside of the cap. Just like that. All right, and then I think maybe this time I'll color this. I could just leave it that, but I'll color it. All right, and then hot glue and figure out where you want your little uh, plants to be. Okay. Hot glue in the middle. And throw your plants in. Now you're going to have to hold it until it dries. This one turned out really cute. I wish I had a third one. I should have done a third leaf. This one's taking a while to dry. Okay, next step is while I'm letting this dry, you're gonna take your um, your thread, or I mean your um, yarn or your twine, whichever you have, and um, you're gonna cut a piece long enough to fit around um, around this. Okay. Okay, that's going to take a while to dry. I think I put too much glue on that. Okay, once you have that, maybe I can set it like that. Maybe it'll stay. It's wanting to fall. Okay, okay, once you have that, then you're going to take your, um, I'm going to use twine for this one. You're going to take your twine for both of them, okay, and you're going to put hot glue on, um, Sorry, concentration. You're going to put hot glue on your cap, and then you're going to start winding it. You want to put little dots ever so often. Just right there. Wind it out. My little leaf's trying to fall. Okay. And once you have that on there, then you're going to put that on, and you're going to start to wind. only thing is, you want to stop about halfway, and you want to put glue right there so you can wrap some more, okay? And then around... If you go fast enough, you can get it again before it dries. You just got to go fast. Go fast. There we go. Round again. This one's only got two. Maybe I can push that up a little bit. Okay. Wrap it again. Oh my goodness, these are cute. Okay, and then just uh, cut your twine or yarn, whatever you have. So there's that one. Let me move this out of the way now. Okay, and then one more for this one. And I guess I'll do the little yarns for it. Some yarn. What a great way to recycle your bottles and keep them out of the ocean for as long as possible. Okay. Dot there, put your yarn on, start to wrap. Again on the other side. Again, just be careful you don't burn yourself. My hands are pretty used to it because I deal with hot glue a lot. But every once in a while it gets me in a space that I have never been burned before and boy does that hurt. Just kind of work with it until you get it to where you want it. 
Sometimes it doesn't want to go on right. This one's wanting to come off, so I'm going to glue that sucker right there. Okay, where she go? Aha! Got it. All right, and one more on this side. So that's our project. We made these cute little plastic teeny tiny succulents for you to put with the rest of your little teeny tiny things that we've made on this place, on this show, because if everybody's watched, they know that I like the teeny tiny little things. Um, I have done little teeny tiny cactuses before as well. You can add those with the other ones. All right, so that's what we've made out of plastic bottles. Who would have thunk it, right? Hey, I hope everybody had fun doing this project as much as I did. It was a blast. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you want any information on the City Museum, you can go to citymuseum.org, and that's where we keep everything updated, as well as our Facebook page, which is City Museum St. Louis. And follow us and like us, comment. It's fantastic. Uh, I will be on again Monday at 11 o'clock uh, to do another fun project. I hope you all had so much fun making these little small uh, plastic recycled plants. And um, until next time, have a great night.